Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Nick Bryant from Brilliant Businesses. With Brilliant Businesses, we're a media platform and we offer business support services. We offer social media training and social media support, social media management also. We also interview business owners and we find out their stories and their dreams as to how they set their businesses up. We then share that through our own channels, through their channels, and of course that gives them great content for their social media too. We also offer podcasts. We do business owner interview podcasts. And we also let business owners have their own podcast shows. We're also a franchiser for the Brilliant Businesses franchise. In this video, we're going to look at the social media side of things and we're going to do a step-by-step -step guide on how you would set up a Facebook business page in 2021. Now is a perfect time to use Facebook to shout about your business while we're going through lockdown and whilst we're in the, in the troubles that we're in. It's quite easy to do and this video is really, really for beginners. Um, who just want to know a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a business page for their Facebook. So we're going to head over to that, over to that um, tutorial now, and so follow over here. So here we are on my desktop, and we're using Google Chrome. Uh, it's the best one that I like. You could, use, you could use Safari, you could use Firefox, but we're using Chrome. And I'm just on a Facebook page. This is the Brilliant Businesses of Tumbridge Wells Facebook page. But you could be on your personal page, you could be on a group. Um, as long as you're like signed into Facebook and you've got your little name up here. Uh, and next to it, you've got this plus button and where it says create. So we hit that. Uh, and then we come down to page, connect and share with customers or fans to create a page. So we click that. There we have the, the preview of how the, the desktop view is going to look. We can toggle that over to mobile if we wish, and we can see how it looks like on mobile. We're going to leave it on desktop for now, and that shows us how it's going to look once we set the page up. As you can see there, page name and category. And if we can type here in a page name, you'll see that change. We're going to call this the Steak Company. There we have it. And underneath you've got a category now it's a restaurant so we'll start typing in restaurant you can see it comes up there's lots of different options here depending on what your business is um, but it's important to choose one that's very very relevant because it really hurts helps when people are searching for you and you can use up to three different categories on here to describe what type of business your business is so we're also going to have a look for i think i saw steakhouse um, so we're going to use that and I think I saw burger restaurant and this will be a burger restaurant. So we're going to use that one as well. Uh, I think you can have more actually. Just have a look at, um, that was a, a different restaurant when I put in burger. We could put fast food in. No, see, as you can see, it only lets you do three. So we've got our three and that's good. And it's chosen the, the first one, the important one there. And in the description, we have up to 255 um, character limit. And you put in here, right in here, about what your business does. It's quite a brief description, but it just sets your store when people are, are out checking out about you and see, see if they can find you. So in here, we're going to put in the steak company. Excuse my typing. Oh, I've done it again. The steak company provides the best steaks in the world love a good steak don't you anyway the steak company provides the best steaks in the world you can see it's come down there in the about section so now we're going to hit create page and while that has a little think about it hopefully that won't take too long it will tell us that the steak company was created now you can add images to your page so we've got add profile picture i've got some uh, some pictures of some nice juicy steaks lined up for this grilled steak with fries grilled which i got um off of off of a of a, of a website i actually use canva i use canva and i actually use snapper they're good ones to create pictures for for facebook covers uh, so then we add cover photo we can use the same picture for this situation and we're going to put that in there and you'll see that great up there so this this picture is okay it's a bit stretched but this picture really should be your branding um, if you've got a business you should have a logo you should have some sort of favicon you can use to put in there and that's the place where you would put that so that looks okay that's a start so we're going to save that and our page will be created and you'll you'll see it like you see it as a Facebook page uh, when you visit any other one anyone else's Facebook page like like this so I think the template's pretty good. I think it's in 2021 right now, and it has changed a bit over the years, but 
the way you do it now that was pretty self-explanatory i think but just so just to help people that shows you how to do that in a few steps the next thing we would do is i think is we would add a button uh so if we click that it gives us loads of options here you could put follow view gift card book now get a quote start an order which is i think the one we would use you can put a simple contact us button which you will take you straight through to the contact bit on the website on your website um, send whatsapp messages send messages emails learn more as you can see there's lots here that you can use which and you will find one pretty much which is suitable for your business i'm going to do start order now here you put, if you've got an order page on your website, you put in that URL. We don't have one because I haven't got the steak company set up as a business. This is just a dummy. But So I'm going to put in the Brilliant Businesses website here just so it sets something up so you can see how it looks. Brilliantbusinesses.biz. Save. Right. So that's done. Now, a cool little trick here is you can view this as a visitor, as it says there. So you click on that. And you can do this any time and you can see this is how it would look as someone visiting your page um, who's just come across you if you like and you can see it says start order nice little knife and fork there look that's pretty cool so they click on that that would go through to the order page on your website and it says restaurant there state company so we're just going to exit that in a moment um the next thing we'll do is create a username again this is this is important because it 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 makes it things searchable a lot easier as well. Um, I think we'll probably find that the state company has been taken. This is like a bit like when you're buying a, a website domain. People have already had them. Yes, yeah, so that's already been taken. We try perhaps just state company. Pretty sure that's gone as well. We can put in. We'll put TW for Tunbridge Wells, and I'll put the the back in. So the state company Tunbridge Wells are in Tunbridge Wells here, and it could work this might work it might not let me because it hasn't got many likes on the page yet but we'll see no the page, this page isn't eligible to have a username so we're going to come out of that for now we might be able to add, we will be able to add that to that perhaps later in the video or um once maybe 10 people have liked the page or something like that it usually lets you create a username so we're just going to leave that for now um next things we can do is I think the most important thing is the about section on the on the on the page which we'll head to in a moment actually just before we do that you can see these offers and tabs these tabs here and these menus here which you can change so you could change offers to to photos or you could change it to videos or about uh, we can edit those and I can show you how to do that later in the video um, uh, promote is for, for for when you want to spend some money with Facebook and promote your page to a local community. It's really good, actually. Show you in another video. Um, but for now, we want to edit the about section. So, for instance, here, if you went to about, um, there's not really any information in there. So we want to add information in there. We can do it on that on that part. In actual fact, we do it here. So this is edit page info. So we hit that. And this is where we can put in. We can try that username again here. Let's see if that works. The steak company TW might be right now. Username isn't available. It's still saying it, so let's just not worry about that at the moment. We'll have to come back to that. The steak company provides the best steaks in the world. We can edit that now if we want, um, but that's going to do for us for now. We've got those categories, so. That's fine. Then we've got these buttons at the top here. So we can then add the contact. So here is where you'd add your phone number. Obviously, you haven't got one because it's a dummy page. Again, email and website there. Location. Again, this is really important if you're a restaurant because it helps people find where you are. So you'd enter that in there as it is. It will come up with a map here as well to show you where. In fact, if I put a postcode of where, where I'm in right now, I can show you where what it, what it does. So as you can see, it's having a little think about it. In actual fact, if I put the rest of the, the rest of the details in, it'll probably give me a better idea, but I'm not going to do that because it's a dummy page. So we would have put the, the, the address in. Hours, this is quite a good one. No hours available, always open, permanently closed, open on selected hours. So I think this is quite good for a restaurant to put open on selected hours because then you can put from Monday, for instance, you could say you open at 9 a.m., so you put that in and then you close at, I don't know, 6 p.m., let's say. Um, 
and then you'd do that the same for each week sorry each day of the week and then when people visit your page they can see exactly when you're open in fact i'm going to just sort of quickly add some in here so you can see that at the end um you get an idea i'll just add a few of those in this is i think this is a new thing and i think they've done this since covid because it helps people uh choose a different option open with service changes that's for people that are open but they're only doing collection and delivery online service etc temporarily close if they've shut their doors for a bit or operating as usual so they, they're quite a good things so let's see what this more is so this is where you can put your privacy policy statement in which would be on your website perhaps um, other bits and bobs um, you can put whether you've got Wi-Fi actually that's quite good for things like dentists when people went in dentist rooms you can put your Wi-Fi network name in there so people can search it and they can sign into your Wi-Fi while they're sitting in your waiting room uh, other accounts you can link it to your Instagram account which I'll show you how to do in a moment so that's your your page your about us information you can invite your friends to come and like the page here which is pretty cool cool um, obviously be selective who you want to, to, to do that another really important thing here is is insights this gives you the information about what's happening um, with your page and how it's happening and when it's happening it's just loading that data so this there's, there's not gonna be much on here right now well there isn't anything on here right now because nothing's been happening with the page but once you've got the page going for perhaps a month or two you can then really see what's happening you can see how many page views or previews or likes you've had in a certain period you can download that information you can then um, export that into other reports you can uh, work out what times of the day people are acting on your pages more what days of the week they are you know might find that people are interacting more on Sundays and if they are then that's that's when you want to be adding the action to the page but the insights are really good uh, and there's all sorts of different insights you can look at here you can see your followers um, when your likes have happened page views you can look at what where they're coming from you can look at their age you can look at the country they come from all sorts of information there which is really handy when you're trying to work out the best approach for your page inbox here which is obviously your 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 messages uh, they've they've connected it all up with instagram now so you can see both your facebook messages and your instagram messages in one place you can also see when people comment on instagram posts as well as facebook posts you can also see those here uh, it's really cool with the automated responses because you can set up an automated response so when someone comes to your page and you're around you can do an automated message a bit like this hi thanks for contacting us with contacting us we've received your message and appreciate you reaching out you can edit that anytime so you go here and you can change that to whatever you want um, it could be you could leave a phone number you could leave a bit to your website you can add personalization do all sorts of things like that and that's a really cool um, little thing that Facebook have, have, have added there's also all sorts of things here when if you're if you're putting a job um, on your on your Facebook page you can do job applications and you can even do appointment reminders and you can also say that you're away at the moment if you're on holiday perhaps so that's really cool the messages um, section so we're just going to come back to the page so that's pretty much what you want to do with the page you've, you've also got in here settings now there's lots of information in here which I'm not going to go over right now but just to be brief about it it's pretty simple to work out page visit visibility you can see it's been published visitors post anyone can publish to the page anyone can add photos and videos to the page you can edit these things so you can go into this and you can um, you can, if you click that for instance it review before people actually can post on your page you can not even let people post on your page you can disable it there so there's all sorts of different things you can do here um, other ones like age restrictions you can put in if you don't want you know people that have certain age to look at the page you can you can stop them from doing that you can stop it being visible in certain countries you can have it translate into different languages lots of things in here that you can look at um, the templates and tabs this is what I was saying earlier um, you can change what tape tabs and templates are up 
on your menu. So for instance, if photos was important, you'd drag that up and you'd see that photos would be on the top tab. If um, your shop was important, you can drag that up and put that into your tabs at the top of the page. Again, videos, if they're important, shop, you put that there. Uh, so you can muck, pluck, muck, muck around with that, what's important to you. If you've done some Facebook Live, you can put those at the top. It's quite a cool feature. You've also got the template here. At the moment, it's under restaurant and cafes, which is what we want. But you could change it to, if it was a, if it was a venue, it would be a different looking um, template. Again, if it's a shop, if you're a public figure, politicians, non-profits, lots of different options there. But obviously, we're in restaurants and cafes, so we're going to keep it at that. Event ticketing, that's for if you are doing a, an event and you want to connect to Eventbrite, that works well with that. Notifications are choosing when you have that real little red dot come up. You know, you might want you might, might not want it there all the time and you might not want to receive email notifications from Facebook when someone puts an action on your page. So you can disable those. There's lots of things that you can disable here on keeping them on. We're just going to keep them on for now. If you want to connect it to your Instagram account, hit that connect it to your account you go like that it'll go through to whichever account you've got um, connected to it you then put in your username and your password and it connects it all with your Instagram account really cool really easy to do there's other bits and bobs in here but we're not going to go into those so we'll come back to the main page and here the first thing you should do is obviously create a post so you create a post write something to the state company so this is this is really important that you don't just advertise yourself all the time I recommend sort of doing maybe four or five or three or four posts a week different days and then after a month just monitor it and measure it and see when you're getting the best engagement when you're getting the best um, interaction on your posts and just add a human element to it just this is where brilliant businesses comes in because we we tell the business owner stories which is a great bit of content which is different to just saying hey come and buy our steaks because they're great steaks maybe do some videos of the guy cooking the steaks maybe talk to some of your customers get them to um give their point of view and tag them in so they can share it on their facebook pages so you get more people involved but just don't advertise yourself all the time come up with something a bit creative and a bit different um, and you create the post in there. I mean, creating a post and creating content is pretty simple. I'll probably do another video on that at some point so you can see that, but that's where you'd go from that. And that's kind of it. Um, another thing we would do is once people liked it, we'd go back and create that username. That's really important. Uh, other than that, we start getting some posts on there, getting some interaction on there, getting it going, connecting it to your website, and... Uh, Facebook pages, business pages really work. They're really good. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you found that useful. And I'll see you in a video, another video again soon. Thank you.